Which way do you think this is going to break? I don't hmm? know. Have you ever watched Vogue 21 Questions? No. What's that? What's your full name? Lionel James Sanders. What's your favorite sport to do outside of triathlon? Hmm, I don't know. What's your favorite sport to watch? To watch? UFC. What's your favorite color? Uh, green. If you could pick a car right now, what would it be? Uh, I'd probably take, uh, I don't know, I'd probably do like a souped up golf cart. Who's your favorite triathlete pre U racing pro? <laughs> uh, I probably have to go with Craig Alexander. Who was your biggest inspiration as an athlete growing up? As an athlete? Mm -hmm. um, I think Dave Mira probably was who inspired me the most. If you only had one more meal to eat in your life, what would it be? I don't know. I'd probably do like a really good pizza. Coke or Pepsi? Not mine. Pepsi all the way. Are you jeans or shorts kind of guy? Shorts if it's even remotely warm enough. Should have wore shorts today now. If you could play golf with anyone dead or alive, who would it be? <laughs> I wouldn't want to play golf with anyone other than this group of people here because I don't want anyone else to see how bad I am. Would you ever do a gravel race? Yeah, I would try that. That'd be fun. When's the last time you wrote and mailed a letter? Whoa. I actually, probably Santa. probably the last time I did that was from here. One of the first times I ever came here, I sent the bike shop a postcard. Espresso or coffee? Get in there, baby. Get in there. Uh, espresso. Favorite gaming console from when you were younger? Uh, PlayStation 1. If you could get in a time machine, where would, when, what era would you go to? Where would you go? What, what era? era? Dark Ages? The dark Ages. World War A? I'd go forward, I think. You'd go forward? Yeah. See what it's like. Nice shot. Beamer, Benz, or Bentley? Ah, don't matter. They're all overpriced. Favorite childhood movie? Uh, probably Space Jam. <laughs> Current favorite artist? Uh, I like Nora on Pure. Wow. What's the most proud moment you've been yeah, in your you career, professional video. career? Sinking that birdie on this par three that I normally put it in that water. What's the most proud moment you've been in your professional career? Uh, second in Kona for sure. That was my best, my best day. It's the hardest training session you've ever done. Uh, I mean, I've done some crazy sessions that weren't really like on the surface that hard. But like, I did four hours on the bike one time, 330 watts. That's pretty hardcore. Does your family have any nicknames for you? Get over. Yes. Yes. I went on the green, if you can believe that. I think it rolled off, but it went on the green. Does your family have any nicknames for you? Uh, Line. That's my nickname. Who's your favorite YouTuber? <laughs> Talbot Cox. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> Who's your favorite right now? Eric Lagerstrom. Really? Yeah. I like his stuff. It's good. What's his most recent video? I bought a new iPad. Computer. Mm -hmm. Favorite late night snack? bowl of cereal. Go-to run session. Uh, 
three by five K. What's your favorite cuss word? <laughs> you fucking know the answer to that. <laughs> Who's your current favorite triathlete? Jan Fredino. Where do you think this is going? What's your favorite childhood memory? Uh, I mean, I loved playing basketball down at the Colchester Harbor. If you could pick anywhere in the world to travel to, where would you go? I'm here already. Really? Tucson? Yeah. If you won the lottery tomorrow, what would you do? Nothing. I would do nothing different, actually. Nothing different at all? No, what would I do different? Why? There's only one thing left to do, is to win the big races. Nothing I can do to buy that. When did you realize that you were good at triathlon? Oh, I mean, I still suck at swimming, unfortunately. I'm good at the, the what is it called? The biathlon. Still working on the triathlon gig. The duathlon, you mean? The duathlon, sorry. <laughs> I've been out of the duathlon for a while. What's the greatest advice <laughs> someone's ever given you in the sport of triathlon? I don't know. What's some advice a lot of great you wish advice someone over the years would have gave you? Various people. Just enjoy the journey, man. Put unnecessary pressure on yourself. Just each day wake up, try and become a better athlete. If you could change anything in the sport of triathlon, what would you change? Racing format, team format? Yeah, I don't I don't mind triathlon. Like I don't I don't feel like we're in a bad place by any means. You know what? I think I'd try and make it a little more accessible. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Right now it's pretty expensive. How many hours a week do you train? Uh, on average right now about 20. What does it get up to? This year it'll probably get up to about 30. So you never even work a 40 hour a week? Yeah, I mean you gotta recover. It's gotta be factored in somehow, the recovery aspect of things. So if you factor in that then probably but no, it's not a very difficult job from that standpoint. Dirt, road, or treadmill? Oh, there's a time and a place for everything. Winter time, I'm on a treadmill. Tucson time, I really like the dirt. Fast times, I want the road. Favorite style icon? Talbot Cox. If you had one wish, what would it be? He's going to say to make this chip. Execute a good flop shot. What did I tell you? There it is. What TV show are you currently obsessed with? Um, the only show I've been watching is Schitt's Creek. What's your parents' athletic background? Uh, my dad lifts weights, and my mom is a runner. Where's your favorite triathlon location in the world? St. George, Utah. If you could pick anywhere in the world to do a triathlon, where would it be? St. George, Utah. So does this mean you'll race 70.3 worlds and... Oh, you're damn right. St. George, Utah. Yeah. Do you remember your first ever professional race? Of course. Where at? Muskoka, Ontario. What was the most surprise, surprising moment in your entire career? The most surprising moment? Uh, I think finishing fourth at 70.3 worlds was quite surprising. I didn't expect that. What year was that? 2014. Ah, oh, it's a damn slice. Do you actually to, enjoy doing YouTube? I'm trying to pull that club up too quick.
No. Then why do you do it? Because you make me. No, I don't mind it. Why do you do it? Ah! Boredom. Predominantly. It's got nothing else to do. Obviously horrible at golf, so this isn't much fun. What's your actual thoughts on Cam Wharf? Uh, actual thoughts? Good guy, I like him. How often do you talk, talk with him? I call him every night before bed. <laughs> oh, I gotta stop trying to, now I'm trying to actually slice it, you know? Really? <laughs> trying to create left to right and stuff. Why? I don't know, I just want to slice it because for the longest time I was hooking it. All right. What's your obsession with Jan Ferdino? I don't have an obsession. He's just the best. How often do you get on social media? Never. How often do you get on Instagram? Never. Is that sarcasm? No. Why don't you get on there? Ah, it's just too many meanies. Do you ever read your comments? I got thin skin. Can't handle it. I'm an emotional guy. Do you ever read your comments? No. Why not? It's not necessary. It's too many. It's the, the, the haters ruin it for everyone, you know? Hop in. I don't need that negativity at all. Did you used to read your comments? Yeah, I used to read them. I used to go on Soul Twitch too. Negativity ruined it. I don't need that negativity. One thing you should do is control the energy that's going into your brain. You don't need that negative energy going in. Are you enjoying having a coach? Oh, I love it. Great. Recommend it for everyone. Is that sarcasm? No. I don't think there's someone who shouldn't have a coach. But last year it was total opposite. <clears throat> That's not true. Last year I had come to the conclusion that I needed a coach, but it just didn't work out with the person who I was working with, and I became a little bit bitter because of it. Hmm. That's a blessing for me. What's one quote that you love or live by? Um... I mean, you should live each day like it's your last, because you never know when it will be your last day. No one knows. What are you going for? Five? Five. What are you going for? Six. Pressure. I had a penalty. Pressure. I didn't know we were playing with such a serious group today. <laughs> Dang. Do you have any pre-race rituals or superstitions? <laughs> um, nah, the only ritual or superstition that I do these days is just try and get everything done two nights before so I feel no stress the night before. What's the greatest prize you've ever won in triathlon? The greatest prize? Yes. That, uh, that uh, helmet from Daytona was pretty cool. It was a signed helmet from the top 10 NASCAR drivers. That was the first prize for, for winning the Challenge Daytona last year. Oh, hooker. Oh, cart path. Mental exhaustion or physical exhaustion? What's harder to overcome? Ah, uh, mental exhaustion. What's one thing you tell yourself when you get on the start line in a race? This could be the last one you ever do, so make it count. Are you tired of these questions? I wish I had more time to prepare. My answers would be better. Can you thank everyone for watching? <clears throat> Thanks everyone for watching. There it is. Too bad.